And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This episode is sponsored by Zenreal Clothing Co. Pick up your tees at zenrealclothingco.com. Don't forget to use the promo code SGPODCAST for 20% off your order. All right. So we checked out um, EGLX yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what does EGLX stand for? I don't actually know. Uh, it is of, EGLX, right? Yeah. All right, cool, cool. So I got the acronym correct. I think enthusiastic gaming. I don't remember. <laughs> Lexicon extravaganza. Sure. Sure. Um, but yeah, so basically it was like Toronto's E3. Like, if you want to conceptualize it as something, would you? Was that a safe comparison? I mean, it's obviously it's not. not it's not E3. Really, like, not really. E3 is like super impressive, but like. Yeah, but I wouldn't even call it E3. It's not even close to that. It's just a different thing. It's more of a. I think it was more focused on like. Uh, it's it's like anime game, expo uh, for video games. It's a bit more like esports. Oh really? Oh okay. okay. Yeah, like, they had like three different uh, stage, two yeah three different stages of like some game. Thing True, actually, yeah, you're, you're right. All right, I take that back. It's not really like E3 because E3 you're like showing off things. Yeah. So this is more like. Um, I didn't yeah, how do you how do you describe this? Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's, it's sort of like uh, how do you describe it? Yeah, it's like just what? like a esports and a like a event event in a way. Uh, just to um, like promote that kind of thing. I, I feel like so. It, all right. So you wouldn't even you wouldn't even like compare it to like Anime Expo. Uh. Oh, so there. Are, I mean, there are similarities, I guess, in the sense that of the different like boots and stuff. Right, but right. Like, uh, but generally, uh, n- no, because it's not. It's more a celebration of e gaming. Yeah. All right, fine. So we'll we'll leave it at that. So, EGLX is basically like Toronto's celebration of uh, esports, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. So we hit that up. I'm really impressed with how far this medium is going because you remember like video games back when we were like little kids yeah and it you never thought it would become something so massive as it is today right well one of the things that i i thought was so surprising was seeing all of the celebrities but they were like normal people Mm -hmm. you know like like sports has been dominated by like outlier athletes for so long but like with esports it's kind of like if you're really good at the game you can become famous yeah but it's like it, it's almost like the the normal people or the nerds take over you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying because it's like it's like nobody was athletic nobody's like a job well i'm sure there, there were some athletic people but it's like it's like anybody can get into this you know? right right and right. at the same time it's like it's very like game specific so it's like things don't really transfer over like you can be really good at like point and shoot first persons mm-hmm. but like the rules of the game are different depending on what game you're playing. Right. So it's like you have like for each game you have your superstars. Yeah. 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 I I really liked with with that how like you can sign up as an independent person and then you can win that like $3,000 grand prize. We didn't sign up but that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like and then like the one dude who was like he was wearing that like face mask and Mm -hmm. I was like so impressed because he had that like amazing string of combos right and that made me think he was pretty awesome but it's like if you really look at it you're just playing a video game you know yeah like growing up i had like (laughs) many family members who were like really into video games and really really good at it right yeah um and just to think that these people could be like considered gods now right (laughs) you know what i mean or popular and popular yeah yeah i would say yeah and like um all the all the little kids lining up for the autographs from these like normal looking people it was yeah. crazy. Or like the the streamers, they have these like streamer booths out there, mm-hmm. and like um, like a lot a lot of the people that were streaming like in person, they look so normal, right? Right. They, well, that's one of the things that really like surprised me about going to these shows is like seeing how the camera, like you're seeing it in person, right? And you're like, okay, this is kind of cool. But then you see it on TV because they have the monitor above them and it looks so amazing because the am- camera angles they got and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. I found that pretty fascinating. Uh, uh, it's cool. Um, I thought, yeah, like especially the esports thing. But like, I wanted to see what it's like. I guess some areas, like, um, 
Sometimes they use like actual like arenas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. In, in like South Korea, right? They converted yeah. um, the soccer stadium into an esports. Arena. Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. it's not. It wasn't like uh, like it's like just growing kind of thing. It feels like here, or there's yeah, a lot of people sure. that probably watch it online. They're just uh, like you can even tell that they're. It's like growing because. Um, like the the venue in itself was not as big as Fan Expo. Right, right. Because Fan Expo was like two floors. Yeah, and it was like well, actually diff- not even two floors. No, 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 it, was like it was like the uh, whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Right? So, and then um, this one is just one area, like the right. beginning part of Fan Expo where it was like. And that, yeah, that, that for was, sure. So this was it, uh, yeah. you know I really liked this one as compared to all the other ones we went to mm-hmm. because this one felt very like approachable, and very like okay. Um, very inclusive mm-hmm. you know like like the other ones like fan expo it's like you're just going there to like ogle over like famous people right <laughs> but like at this one it's like if i wanted to really partake i would just sign up for the tekken tournament yeah you know and it's like and then like people were bringing their own like controllers and like they had the open areas where like you could just sit and play versus people and it's like it's just like a cool convention to like hang out just look at where all gamers come together, in a way. Yeah, totally, and just like battle each other. Yeah, I thought that was really cool, and like that's that's super. Um, yeah, it felt super inclusive because it's like there were stations for people to take part in things. Right. Whereas, like in other places, other shows, it's like you're just watching somebody. Mm. So it's like I'm better than you, but it's like here, it's like you put your token up, and it's like you know, like yeah, I yeah, got yeah. next. Right. You know, and if you're really good, like you can school everyone and then take home like three thousand dollars yeah i mean i guess the more people that go to this those kinds of um uh like the the value that you get they'll increase the price every time like the winning oh yeah yeah, yeah. true 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 yeah yeah right like the the more people that Mm -hmm. enter the competition because you're paying your tickets yeah yeah, yeah. um i like the product toss that was kind of cool I usually see those for, like, skateboard companies and stuff. They do, like, product tosses. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was cool to see, like, Omen doing one. But we didn't even realize till the very end, like, oh, they're doing a product toss. Which one are we talking about? The Omen. Omen. Oh, 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 oh right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, that one you're talking I about. I really yeah. like the fanny pack that they were throwing out. But I was like, ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. Damn. It's, the main thing, yeah, is, like, you're trying to find a way to get a bunch of free stuff as well, right? Yeah. Throughout this whole... Yeah, I didn't. Thing. We didn't buy anything. Like usually at the other ones, you buy stuff, but there was like a lot of free stuff. Oh, what I really liked was like the indie department area. Oh where yeah, they're showing yeah. off all their like indie games, and it's like they they're like pilot testing. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, do you want to do you yeah. want to um, check out our game, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like from that, I'm sure they're gathering like intelligence. You know, like. How do people play this game? How do they interpret the game? Mm-hmm. And it's cool to see like different schools there, like Humber, their UX design programs there, right? And like a, a lot of people, there was like a lot of um, student-run projects. Did you notice that? Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember did, like yeah. the 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 return a game thing that we signed up for just yeah. to get the chocolate, but yeah. it was like you had to like their Facebook page and like, oh, we're from Sheridan or something right. like that. Yeah. See, that, that's what I like out of a convention. Like, that's a cool convention. Where right. It's like, you go there, you can check out some cool stuff, but at the same time, like, you can engage. Hmm. Yeah. You know? I think that's why I liked it more than, like, Anime Expo, Fan Expo, stuff like that. Right. Fan Expo kind of felt like, just go there and buy stuff. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, It was yeah. just, like, just stalls of, like, buying things. Um, and then, like... Anime Expo was pretty similar. Didn't they have boots though, like or like rooms or in, like guests or someone in Anime Expo, Fan Expo? Yeah, yeah, yeah they they did, but it was like anime really, more, not, yeah, not, not Fan Expo. I think in the, in the anime one, they had the um, the rooms where you can read the manga. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. that was that was pretty interesting. But like, yeah. Um, I think mm-hmm. it's I think it's fascinating where we're headed, and I was really thinking about it. I was like, when I went to the bathroom, I was like, "Wow, we're really in the future." Right. You know, like watching because they had like the the old school games there as well. So it's like you mm-hmm. could see like Tetris and like um, GameCube. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. GameCube was there. Uh, Super Nintendo was there. All all this old school stuff, and it's like funny mm-hmm. to see because it's like it's like oh, this is where it all began. Right. Like with these like small games, and now we're watching like these full-on worlds being built. You know, 
Mm. What do you think of the uh, um, the Watchdogs, the Watchdogs, <clears throat> the Watchdogs demo that we checked out? Uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, like it was a bit cringe with the person. I felt like a lot of people it. there were cringe. Actually, yeah, a lot you of know, people like were cringe. <clears throat> like the presenters were pretty cringe. Yeah, the people were pretty cringe. Well, the presenter was just that one person. I thought the the um, no, no, but like the um, guy that developed the game when you meant like he just intro the thing. I thought that was like at least he was. Normal. Oh, he was he cool. Felt, yeah, 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 felt the most normal one. There. Yeah, but remember he was saying like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he he was cool. But remember he was saying like she doesn't even work for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like demoing the game, but she's she doesn't work for Ubisoft. Yeah, yeah. So it's like they're just a presenter. It, you know what basically. I hate when when they're like, oh my god, like so everyone. I think that off. I think that guy, the developer guy, should have done it. He, he yeah, was doing, he should have. He was doing have. a much more better job. Yeah, he I thought, like, He's cooler. But she was like, oh, my God, I love the granny in this. She's my spirit animal. I was like, bro, like, that's so cringe. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, yeah. Like, there could have been more insights from the developer, right? Yeah, he, yeah if the developer did. But they did, it, they did have, cool. like, a, they did have. Um, He's like, here's how we coded it. Notice that this is blah, blah, blah. I mean, like, they, they what was I going to say? Like, they, they did have a developer, um, like, a panel. panel. Right, we missed right. that one, right? right? So maybe that would have been cool. What what did um, do you find that it's like weird looking at it now because of like Hassan Minaj's show? No, his episode. Oh, I felt that. Like I always wanted to work in video games, but like, like I already knew that about video games. I didn't know that. Like, so I knew, I knew so that. If you don't know, basically they have like perpetual crunch time. So like, well, they, like, depends on uh, which game, right? True. Yeah. He's talking about Fortnite. He's talking about Apex that we're playing right now. Yeah. This is forever crunch time, right? Yeah, because they're always trying to make new products, but at the same time, like yeah. you're working these ridiculously long hours and like getting paid, like yeah. you're getting paid well, but it's like not relative to like the time you put in, mm-hmm. you know, because you're putting way more time in than you're getting paid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really like that, but it's, like uh, it's different for something like, um, like Last of Us or something like that. Like I know they're right now and probably in crunch. Right, right. But, but, but it's, it's their project base. It's like it's done. It's, after exactly, that. exactly. Yeah. I. But then they also lose jobs. Yeah, to, yeah, exactly. So like I knew, I knew a lot about a lot about the, the issues of the gaming in the in the system. Yeah. You, you know, it's interesting. I was listening to this one person who was asking, "How do I get into video games? Like, how did you get into video games?" Because mm. we were we were listening to the Watch Dogs. Um, you could talk to the developer. Yeah. So as we were sitting there, and then I was listening to the guy. Well, we showed up at the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't there for the beginning part. And and yeah. then. And then the person, she was like, oh, it was so, like, it's not a straight path to get in here. Like, I was in programming, but then I got into this, and then blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, so it's it's like, you kind of just got to get lucky to get into a really good video game, you know? Yeah. Because, like, so many people are making video like, especially seeing the indep- indie, like, mm-hmm. section. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of people are really, like, creating video games. But yeah. at the same time, it's like... Not everyone's going to be like an Apex. Not everyone's going to be like a Fortnite, but they're no. all hoping for it. Yeah, yeah. What what would really suck is like you spend like ten years of your life developing this game, and then nobody buys it. They all hate it. Yeah, that that would hurt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing, right? There's a bunch of indies, so. Like I mean, is a- Apex? Nobody knew Apex was coming, right? And then they just dropped it. Yeah, but they're already a big studio. Right, right. But what I'm saying is like, it's like. That's kind of just how video games are. It's like either they become like a crazy cult favorite or just not. Yeah. You know? Right. Like who would have thought Fortnite would have been a cult favorite? You know? It's, uh, all, it's all about the marketing. Like I wouldn't say the game is like. Yeah. That's why we shifted over to Apex versus just playing Fortnite. Like the mechanics are similar. The, 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 I mean, it's the, the, the gameplay similar. The game is. The, yeah. the premise is similar, but the mechanics are totally different. Yeah. Like, this is, like, a mix between, like, Call of Duty and Fortnite. Yeah. You know? Right. So, like, you get the best of both worlds. Whereas, like, Fortnite in itself wasn't an amazing game, but it's, like, a cult favorite. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends. It's a bit more skill-based, though. Which, Fortnite? Uh, it depends on what. Like, like the building aspect is much more... Right, right. Yeah. That's why they do a lot of... I mean, they have a lot of tournaments, right? Fortnite? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's actually a lot of. But y- you know, for, oh, oh, so uh-huh. the, no, there was like for this some. I think it was a 16 year old kid that won like some odd million dollars. Oh, well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I, do you do you prefer like first person shooters or like like what, what's your game of choice? Um, like what could you right. watch over and over? I think the first person shooters. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's the the one versus one fighters. Okay. Like those that Tekken tournament, I could have watched that for like ever. Like if you see like uh, everyone in the Twitch world would know that like Shroud is like like his first person shooting. Like gameplay is really really good. Okay. Like if you if you watch that, those are very like enjoyable to see. Because he's skilled. Yeah. Very oh, okay, very okay. skilled on it. Yeah. Yeah. I I remember. So it's funny because like like history of video games. I remember playing like mm-hmm. eight hours a day of like video games, especially in the summertime. Those were like that was just. Yeah. Th- those were like the beginnings of it, you know. And it's interesting now. It's like because we're like in our thirties, so the people who are like setting the precedent for the younger generations Mm -hmm. is our generation now yeah and it's like they were probably all playing video games for eight hours a day as well you know yeah so that's why video games are so big now because like that generation has stepped up Mm -hmm. oh yeah the other thing that i was noticing like the like all the indie games and even even like the the, they become called classics too some of the ones that do get released uh very like the old school style like oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I was the, mentioning. So like it, it's weird how like we have like this um, push towards like realistic gaming, realistic gaming, and now it's like you're kind of going back to pixels. Well, I would. It's there's a market for both in a sense. Right. Yeah. yeah but but it's like no. But but like we. But like why? For a whole period, it was yeah. all about like getting away from pixels, getting away from pixels. Let's like let's yeah, go towards yeah, like yeah. as realistic as yeah. possible. And then now it's like okay, we hit this like maximum point mm-hmm. of like okay, this is as real as we can get it now let's just make it like less real right like, people are craving that like cartoony look uh yeah yeah like uh, the pixely pixel art kind of thing yeah um i think it's more like the nostalgia feel to it right right, right that it right. brings back for those ones who are making it like the old games that they used to play right right, right. that they really enjoyed i guess like with you know uh, you might go into the graphics and stuff but like if the game's not good then it's not really like then you're missing out on something, I guess. Maybe that's why he's, there's that f- the field of that and in doing indie games and doing it more like pixel art. Like, wait, what do you mean? Like, I guess they felt there was more fun in the games that they used to play when they were younger. Okay, yeah. But versus, like, if you just focus on graphics, but there's no proper gameplay. Oh, then it's you're, like a trade-off. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're losing saying. something, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, I've, I've noticed that too, actually. Like, games got progressively easier and easier. Like, yeah. like waypoints now and, like, Characters like the one you were playing, the one you were playing is Final like Fantasy he was 7. he was connecting it more towards Metroid or like, oh, oh the, the indie game I was playing, the indie yeah, game yeah. that you were playing, right? He was connecting it to uh, Metroid, yes, yeah, yeah, Metroid, Metroid, which is like way back, yeah. Right? But I was like, oh, I know you're talking about, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he's like, this, so you didn't know what to do, but it's more about exploration and finding out as you play right, versus yeah, yeah. if you do play games, uh, the mainstream games are their hints is where you got to go. Or exactly, yeah, yeah. So this one is really about just exploration. But that's that's like a, that's like such a niche genre because like oh, people yeah, yeah. get frustrated so easily. Like, like I remember back then, like yeah. Final Fantasy VII was the greatest game for a really long time. Yeah. Because, um, because not only was like the story good, like mm-hmm. it had nothing to do with the actual visuals. It was, well, I mean, because they were, like, as good as they can get at the time. But it's, like, it's, like, they put so much emphasis on story and, like, mechanics Mm -hmm. that we don't see that today. Right. You know, like, 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 it was so hard back then with uh, Final Fantasy VII where they wouldn't even tell you where to go next. Right. You would have had to, like, read the story. And if you didn't remember what he said in the story, it's, like, uh, you're just running around uh, doing nothing. Also, about buying those uh, guides or something. (laughs) Oh yeah, that's Wasn't true. That I thing? forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, you had to be you had to buy walkthroughs. Yeah, yeah. You're right, all... right, 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 right. I remember I used to Google walkthroughs too, because like you'd be so stuck on a point, you're like, I don't even know where to go. True. true <laughs> I remember true, those true yeah. walkthroughs. <laughs> so that's like what what it is. The like, message board is where you would go yeah. for for these sort of things, right? Basically, now instead of buying a walkthrough, the NPCs in the video game are the walkthrough for you. Yeah, like that mark that market is gone now. Nobody buys walkthroughs because mm-hmm. like the UX is so good, right? That they're like they're prompting you in the correct direction, even though you don't know you're going in the correct direction. Mm-hmm. 
you know, it's actually quite linear. Like when they say like it's an open based game, it's really not because it's like they're they're like pushing you in this one direction. Right. right? But like old school games, they were actually open games because yeah. it's like you could be lost for like weeks, months until you bought that walkthrough or like Googled it. You <laughs> yeah. know? Well, I mean, there was no internet at the time, right? Like, yeah, yeah. N- not like. Or not as well. W- well established. Yeah. So it's like you'd have to go to like the back edges of the internet trying to find like. Yeah. Where to go. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> I forgot all about that. That's funny. Yeah. Um, what what do you think it would need the um, EGLX like? What would it need? Yeah, like how do you make it better? Uh, I'd say more events. It needs more events. Right. Oh, like like yeah. there was only like two panel things. Remember three something like that. Yeah. Well, it is just the uh, beginning. Yeah. Right? Totally. 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 So. I think it would be cooler to have more tournament. I really like how it was like, so they have the open open Tekken. It would mm-hmm. be really cool to have like different sections blocked off for like different styles of gaming that yeah. are open. So it's like you have the, the 1v1 fighters, you have the first person shooters, and you have like, right. I don't know, the freaking strat games. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be kind of cool. Right. Like in each right. different section and then like they have the giant screens just like they had with the 1v1 and yeah. then like right. you could watch people play. That would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick actually. They should totally do more like video game conventions. I would totally go to those. Yeah, I, I guess it, it's it's slowly growing here, right? I mean, th- there is a big market in, in, in Toronto especially. So I'm hoping that it does become bigger. Yeah, me too. Right. Me too. And yeah, then like like Asian level, mm-hmm. but it, like it's funny because we live in like, um, like Korea, like little Korea I'd say because like there's like a lot of Korean shops, but like there's a lot of like video game. We still haven't gone to it, but we should definitely go like the, the like gamer hubs around here. There's yep. like three on this one street alone, right? And it's like there's such a huge market in Asia for like gaming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I really, I really like that that it's like anybody can do it. Like if you have mastered the game, um, then you can, you know, really stand out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It has oh, yeah. nothing to do with like your physicality. But you know, it's funny how they were doing that whole um, like make your make your reaction time. They were like they were having these products that they would sell that were so geared towards gaming. Like they had mm-hmm. that glove that like would increase your reaction time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's like it's like Purchase a sports thing too, right? It's like the best shoes or whatever. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. And uh, the the nutrition, you know, like this is the energy drink without actual. We use ginseng to wake you up. You know, it's right, like right. it's like of course, of course, gamers would want energy drinks and um, faster reaction gloves. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah. Uh, what I felt like was out of place was the, I don't know. The, uh, we're about the, no, no, no. Oh, I thought uh, that was kind of weird. Well, that was a bit cringe. I just yeah, didn't feel like, like it was set trivia, up properly. Yeah, they, no, but the, uh, the they had a main stage. But they were, it was more about just hanging out with those guys because those people are pretty big online. So it was just more like that. I think they probably enjoyed it. The people that went. Yeah. Yeah. True. So, but like, uh, no, I, you know what I really love about gamer culture mm-hmm. style, right? The way they dress and like the way they're like putting on their fashion is so cool mm-hmm. you know it's like you talk about like new york fashion and stuff and you say like oh they're pretty chic gamer fashion i'm telling you that's gonna be like a thing in the future <laughs> you could already see it you know like right. gamer gamer fashion where it's like it's kind of like neo punk futuristic cyberpunk kind of feel you know what i mean right right yeah they're out they all got those like colorful socks and like really short tight jeans and like you know what I'm saying like there's like gamer fashion and they all have buttons and like yeah yeah that that's gonna be something in the future and uh, i really like sorry i'm like totally gone off this fashion thing <laughs> um but like that one dude's uh forearm tattoo oh yeah and i was like you thought it wasn't guy. real or something no no, no no oh there was that guy oh the, yes, the a Twitch streamer, but i meant like when they were playing that werewolf game mm-hmm. he had like a like a cool forearm tattoo and his like style was very like like college kid okay i don't know like i'm just saying that like you're gonna see in the future like neo-punk style mm-hmm. uh fashion coming out of the video game world 
Okay. Like you have like yeah, yeah, anime yeah, yeah, yeah. fashion, which is like trench coats and like everyone's wearing like contacts and like their hair is gelled in an anime way yeah. with like color. But then like you're going to have like the, the gamer fashion, which is like baseball caps and like, you know, comfy, mm. like mm-hmm. co- cozy wear. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. I, I, was, I was talking about main like, like that the, we felt that the, the artist alley was a bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so out of place. It felt out of place because it was... Uh, there was no gamer stuff. Yeah. It was like... Well, there was, but it was like super reaching. Yeah. Like, it was like anime expo gamer style. You know, like yeah. they had like... Like... Do you know what chibi is? You heard of, no. hear that? It's like chibi. It's like... It's that cute stuff. Like, you're like, oh, that's like too cute. Because I want to buy that button. You're oh, like, that's too right. cutesy. Yeah. That, they call it like chibi. So, but that, this is, that's what I mean. Like, that, that would have been perfect at anime expo or something. Yeah, totally, like totally, totally. But, like, all the video game characters that they had were, like, in an anime chibi style. So yeah. it's kind of like, yeah. that's pretty lame. Like, like what are, what are we here? Like, anime expo? <laughs> True. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, it would be cool if they sold more, like, video game specific stuff. They had the Ubisoft gear. But yeah. But that was, like, 60 bucks. Like, yeah. But they didn't have many, too. It was just uh, the logo and they are mainly promoting the Rainbow Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wasn't really into that. Yeah, I so agree. Much. Like, it, it, more products to be sold would be kind of cool. Yeah, I was hoping to see like, at least PlayStation because I want to buy like some PlayStation gear, but I want to like. I do too. It. But we were we were saying like just buy it online. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I I truly believe after going to that thing, like we are in the future. And the nerds of the past have, are taking over. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, the gamer kids of the past are totally taking over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was more prevalent to see there, but it was been, it's been going on, right? That's why, like, Twitch is huge. Right, totally, 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 totally. But, like, there it was like, wow, there's a convention for this now, mm. you know? I see. Yeah. Um, any final thoughts? No. Okay. Yeah. Definitely worth checking out. Um, Toronto Comic Con, you said? I think that's coming up next, yeah. Sometime yeah. in Feb or March, I don't remember. I so think. is uh, EGLX something we'd hit up again? Yeah. I'd, I'd, rather, I'd rather hit up EGLX than Fan Expo. Right. I liked EGLX more than Fan Expo. I think if, if, if they... I think you just got to plan out the day. Like, we normally just go and just see what's happening. Yeah, but you have to look but, at the itinerary first because there's so many limited right. things. So it's like yeah. you really got to, like... Yeah, so I, I think for like this one, even like we should like figure out what the times were, yeah, which totally. is the best day, and if that's the best one to like plan out and that's right. one to go. Like for I think for Fan Expo, we might need to go because uh, the new PlayStation. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's the main well, reason that I'm going. I check it out if anything, because it's going to be coming out next year. Yeah. So they'll probably have it there. Exciting. All right. So oh, uh, sorry, innovations. Uh, the joystick thing. Um, so they have like the arcade style joystick mm-hmm. and then they have like the, the actual PlayStation controller. And you were saying that you actually like the old school arcade style, like, yeah, it was so, it's so much more like easier on the fingers. I felt like totally, totally. I, I think it's like my years of gaming as a kid, like I've just absorbed controllers more than the joystick thing. Like mm-hmm. you know, playing on the joystick was so hard. I was like, oh man, this is like. But I, totally it, well, yeah, I get it. it. I mean, it was hard for me, but it's. I I feel like this is a bit more easier to get used to. Right, right. But what, what I'm saying is, like, the muscle yeah. memory is already ingrained in me. Where it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, I think that's pretty cool thing. about video games too. Like the small iterations, but like big visual jumps. Mm-hmm. But the iterations are like like the actual gameplay is pretty similar because like. I can pick up any Soul Calibur because I used to play like on end as Mitsurugi and I, jumping in now, it's like I know all the moves right. without right. having even played it, mm-hmm. you know? But it's like, I like how they keep the moves similar right. over time. Yeah. 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 yeah so, <laughs> yeah, definitely hit up EGLX. Um, well, they still have it today. Well, by the time this, this is out there, it's already done. But. Yeah, true, true. But next year, next year, EGLX yep. for the win. Um, so no Socratic Gamers podcast for, I guess, two weeks. Next week and the week after. Okay. Because I am hitting up Egypt, Portugal, Egypt, and Greece. Mm-hmm. So I'll report back on how big the actual pyramids are. Okay. I hear they're pretty big, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, they're big, yeah. But it's like... Even though I've never been at what I've seen. Basically. But like, but big is like relative, right? So is it like the size of this apartment building? Is it the size of like... No, it's big. 
It's bigger than the apartment building. I, I was impressed with the 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 one in um, Mexico. It's way bigger than that. So it's way bigger than the apartment building. No, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I said the one in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. It's b- bigger, b- bigger than that. That was huge. The the apartment building. Um, so the one in Mexico is bigger than the apartment building. Uh. This apartment building? Yeah. yeah. Or the one beside us? This one. I think so. Wow. Okay. All right. So. Well, we'll see. Um, I don't know. <laughs> but I think so. <laughs> I'm excited to have finally hit up all the ancient civilizations, Greece, Rome, and Egypt. You know, back then they were like the three, well, Persia too. I haven't hit up Persia, Persia, China too. So, okay, whatever. But I went to Hong Kong. <laughs> India too. No, but but like no, like they were like the USA, Russia, and um, what's another one of their time? Japan, China. As China was already there, but like they were like the three main economies: um, mm-hmm. Greece, Rome, and Egypt. Yeah, oh, allegedly according to Western canon. Yeah, but like I'm sure if we, we go to like Persia, they're like, no, Persia was actually the biggest economy. You know, where is Persia? Uh, Talking about Iran? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what's left there, but yeah, sure. No, right, totally, totally. What I'm saying is like back in ancient times, like mm-hmm. Egypt, Roman, Greece were like the powerhouses. Yeah. So fascinating. All right. Uh, don't forget to hit up zenrealclothingco.com. Use offer code SGPODCAST for 20% off of your order. Sounds good. Yeah. Till next time. See you in two weeks. Take it easy. Peace. Bye.